morning. It's Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. I am Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Dangers of Children's Time at Church, and our scripture is Proverbs chapter 22. Direct your children onto the right path, and when they're older, they will not leave it. My guest writer today is Will Tate, our grandson-in-law, who writes about his son, Levi, our great-grandson, whose debut in church service was to open the worship time by opening the Bible. This happened a couple of years ago, and Will writes this. There's always that one precocious child at a children's time at church that gives that little more than expected answer. Today, being All Saints Sunday, Dr. Joyce Ray Howell mentioned that we remember and honor those in our church who passed away in the past year. He also noted that this year we had three members who nearly made it to 100 years old. Q. Levi Tate. Without provocation and clearly on perfect comedic time, Levi looks straight up at Ray and says, My daddy is 100. The congregation fell from their pews in laughter, and the heavenly throngs bellowed with sweet joy. Daddy just shook his head. (laughs) Of course, it's hardly necessary to mention the boy has some preacher's blood surging through his veins and arteries. Preachers are relatively confident about their information and don't hesitate to share it. Levi lacks little initiative in that department. Levi and company are regulars at First Baptist Church of Lexington, North Carolina, and that's in obedience to Scripture's admonition to teach the little ones while they're still little and malleable enough to be bent towards Christ. It's a documented reality that the older we get, the less likely our hardened hearts become to repent and commit life and eternity to Jesus. One of the greatest privileges of my life is to have lived long enough to have great-grandchildren and pray for them every day that they give their hearts to the Lord. I marvel at how our prayer list grows. With nine grandchildren and five great-grands, should the Lord grant that I live another 20 years, I may need a database just to remember the names of all the family I'm praying will join us in the kingdom. As a pastor, for nearly 40 years, I've had perhaps a couple thousand Sunday children's times in worship, and I've had more than a few Levi answers. It used to rattle me a bit when a child got wordy and he wouldn't stop describing everything they could think of, none of it fitting in the slightest with what I was trying to teach them. But I learned quite a few years ago to go with it for three reasons. First, that talking that the kid does is really an excellent sign that the child is engaged and opening herself or himself to the ways of the kingdom. Secondly, something that kid says will just about teach the lesson for the other kids, and my job gets easier when it comes from one of their peers. And by the way, that works pretty good for their parents as well, you know. And thirdly, I realized early on that when it comes to controlling a children's time, you can't lose what you never had. God is the one who's in control, and my job is to be there, be real, and enjoy the trip. For you today, if you're a pastor or one of those fortunate adults who gets to mix it up with the kids as they learn about Jesus, enjoy, for such is the kingdom of God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.